Welcome, dear friend, to this evening's reflection. I'm Dr. Prosper Tetedo in the United Kingdom. The topic for our reflection is to love someone unconditionally. And the main scripture is John chapter 15, verse 12. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. If love was a sentiment that depended on someone else's actions and reactions or an emotion over which you had no control, Jesus wouldn't have said, This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. That means love is a choice you make. It's initiated by your will. Jesus also said, Love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. And pray for those who spitefully use you. As in Luke chapter 6, verses 27 to 28. And what he commands you to do, he will give you the grace to carry out. For thousands of years, and to this day, in some Eastern cultures, parents arrange their children's marriages. Many brides and bridegrooms never saw each other until their wedding day. A certain young lady from India was to be married to a man she didn't know. One day, she received a letter from her fiancé designed to acquaint her with him prior to the wedding. But the bride-to-be returned the letter unopened, saying she believed love should be developed after marriage, not before. When we are born, she wrote, we don't get to choose our mother, father, brothers and sisters, yet we learn to live with them and to love them, so it is with a husband or wife. In societies that endorse this philosophy, divorce is almost non-existent. Now, we are not advocating arranged marriages, but the notion of romantic love that's so prevalent today has little to do with a successful marriage. When you endeavor to love someone unconditionally, the way Christ loves you, you experience joy and fulfillment. May the Lord bless us and may all those who are single and yet to marry even develop that love which is unconditional. And may all those who are already married, if you are already married, I pray that the Lord would develop that unconditional love in your married relationship, in your family, in Jesus' name. And may your marriage even continue that your tomorrow will be greater than today. Amen.